What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio One Tutorials.com and today we're going over part four in the producer series. This is making the Drake filter and automation. What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio One Tutorials.com and today we're going over part four in the producer series. This is the Drake, tu uh, Drake tutorial. This is making the Drake filter and working with automation. Um, so this is gonna go back to what I'm saying at the beginning of all of these videos. If you haven't watched part one, the template video, all 30 minutes of it um, at this point I don't believe that you're committed to uh, getting up and running and mastering this doll because you need to watch that video it is going to save years of your time when you add up all the time that you take to set up your beats and set up your mixes and everything so please watch that before you comment on this video asking a question now um, if, if you've went ahead and done that this is going to be very easy to set up the Drake effect. So we've already um, went ahead and um, made an arrangement to this track. And I decided that for my verse three section, I wanted to, you know, put this underwater. I felt like it would be a good transition to the, um, to the next part of the beat. Now, if you look at our signals, we have um our drum and our band bus that and and you see they're feeding into the filter bus so what i want to do to make the drake effect is i want to cut off the top end of those frequencies right now you see if i if i mute this track that's everything so if i want to affect all the sounds in the track at once with an insert effect like a filter, all I have to do is where this says insert right here, this is where we're gonna uh, insert plugins. So I'm gonna go to studio one, I'm gonna go to studio one, put in the pro EQ, right? And uh, when my hard drive stops acting like a little hoe, we will see this VST pop up. Any day hard drive. Okay, perfect. So in order to make the Drake effect real easy, all you gotta do is select um, HC, and that is the high cut filter. We're gonna roll off the high frequencies. We're gonna change the slope to 48 dBs. That's a real um, steep slope. And we're gonna cut off like 1K of the frequencies, right? So you, you sound like this. Okay. Now we don't want it to sound like that through the whole song. We just want it to sound like that th through this verse three part. So in order to do that, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to automate it. And automation in Studio One is so easy. Uh, what I wanna do is be able to see when I'm right here, have, have it sound like this. And then when the verse comes, I wanna do this. So automation basically is um, having having um, the um, the DAW automatically turn a knob or change a value in a given plugin. That's automation. So in in order to engage that, all you have to do is right click on a um, on a parameter and select edit, and it'll say edit HC frequency automation. That's the um, HC frequency. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring us up a new track at the bottom. And what this line represents is that frequency. So you see we're at um, 925 Hertz. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a shelf, right? Up here is, 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 is 20,000 and down here is 20. So I'll just draw this little square. And now let's listen to what happens. Say I wanted to to kind of make it wash like a like a Mike Will type filter. I could just add another point here, click and hold and drag it up, and it'll it'll make like a little phaser sound. 
And what that is, is that's the sound of this knob moving. You can see it actually happening in the plugin. Alright, so now that I have that, in order to um, make that happen in this section over here, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that delete that, um, that part of the mixer window. Just click and hold, highlight all that, delete that, and then I'll hold Alt and click and drag over this way. And you see it copies that automation over there for me. So now it occurs here as well. Okay, now f filters are one thing, but another thing that you can add is like um, is like glitch effects and things of that nature. You know, once you get into being familiar, more familiar with VSTs, you'll find out about um, plugins like Effect Tricks and Grow Speed and um, Looperator and uh, Stutter Edit and things like that. Uh, me personally, I like this program right now called Looperator. And um, this is uh, this is how I uh, add like things like tape stops to my tracks. So, for example, you go ahead and just hit in it. So, for example, I want to put some tape stops in in the first verse, right? So I'm just gonna listen to this. And again, this plugin is on the filter bus because I want to affect the whole instrumental, right? So if I listen here. So I'm like, I'm thinking like right, right here. I want a tape stop. And right here, I want a tape stop. Right? So I'm gonna listen to it and see what that sounds like. All right, but I only want those two. Now, if I play this, it, now if I if I let this run, it's gonna do that the whole beat, and it's just gonna destroy the beat. So what I want to do is I want to turn this whole effect off. Essentially, press this button. That's the bypass button. Um, and the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to see what this says auto off. If you hold your mouse over something in Studio One, by the way, it's going to tell you what it is. So where that says auto off, I want to go to add and remove parameters. And what I want to do is I want to create a new automation lane. So I click that plus button and I select bypass. All right. And click close. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this so everything stays organized. I'm going to name this loop bypass. All right. So now what we have here is what I showed you uh, for the filter. That's a sloped, you know, like a curve automation. Um, and this is going to be to turn something off and on, right? So if I want to turn off and on this. Uh, this tape stop effect that I've designed in Looperator. So I just want those two. Now, if I've got the line all the way at the bottom, then it only stands to reason if you only have two options, top and bottom. So if I go up to the top, it makes sense that that would be off, right? Okay, perfect. So what I need to do is I need to draw my shape in so so that this is on. So I'm just going to click that there, drag this down. Okay. And now we'll listen to what we got. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna I'm gonna click and drag, highlight up, get rid of all this, 
get rid of this guy here hold down alt click and drag over and it's copy my automation boom Okay, perfect. So that is your tutorial on how to use the Drake effect and how to do simple automations. I hope that really unlocked Pandora's box of creativity inside you, just seeing how easy it is to automate any parameter and you know go ahead and draw in these automation curves and turn different parts um, on and off. Um, I hope you guys want to research the Looperator and the different um, bus processing techniques that are out there. But um, again, this is a beginner tutorial, you know, just to kind of get your feet wet into everything. I'm not going to go in depth of how to use like something like Looperator or something like that. But if you want to see more tutorials on this, just uh, leave me a comment in the comment section. Um, and let me know how this series is going. This is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions, studio1tutorials.com. Keep it simple, don't be basic, and we'll see you on the next one.